Hi, honey. Hope school was good. Why were you following me with your hazard lights on? Well, when I was coming up behind you, I noticed you were driving slower than the speed limit. And I had a hard time seeing the tractor because there was no slow moving vehicle symbol and one of your lights was out. So I decided to follow and turn on my emergency blinkers so that other cars would be warned of the slow moving vehicle ahead. I have driven it for far too long like that. But nothing's happened, really. But Dad, I learned in A class that the law requires lighting and marking on our farm equipment. It's important for both your safety and for other drivers. Why do they have this law? Do you know? So that the fast driving cars know that our tractor can't go as fast. Otherwise, they'll come up behind us too fast and maybe run into us. What else did you learn? That all slow moving vehicles must have specific lighting and marking features. Like for lighting, your tractor must have at least two headlights, two red tail lamps, at least two amber flashing warning lamps visible from both front and rear, two rear facing red turn signals, and two forward facing amber turn signals. And for marking, in addition to the slow moving vehicle or SMV emblem, at least two rear facing red reflector strips to indicate the widest left and right points, at least two yellow reflector strips visible from the front indicating the left and right points, and at least two rear facing red orange reflector strips. Well, who sets these standards? I hope it's not somebody in an office somewhere who has never really driven a tractor. No, Dad. The standards are set by the American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers. Many states have similar or modified versions of these standards for enforcement. Well then, you have convinced me. Let's get this taken care of tomorrow. We'll stop by the farm store and get an SMV emblem and a light bubble for the flashing light. Sounds great, Dad.